Yep, that's it. Ali's, Ali's in. Hiya, darling. Hi, Ali. Good. Okay, so we'll start. So we will do some arms, but we'll try and just do some arms without actually using weights at first, just so I can get you used to. I did this first thing on YouTube a um, couple of days ago. So if you think about your middle fingers, sorry, I'm just keep admitting. Admit. Hiya, Rachel. So if you just turn your arms out, sort of keep the shoulders down. Really important to keep the shoulders down, but try and keep your arms up at all times until I tell you to drop them. So really reach long. So imagine you've got the longest arms you can possibly imagine. And middle fingers are reaching opposite ends of the room. And we're just going to circle for a full minute. If you're not feeling it, then I'll be, well, impressed. So just circle. Circle, circle, circle. Keep circling round. So it just gives you an idea out if you really resist and you actually don't even need any weights. Obviously, if you can use weights and do this as well, then that just increases it. So just keep going. It's a little circle. 30 seconds in one direction. That's my mission this week, working on the bingo. Yeah, okay, everyone's all right. Me and Laura were just saying, I think everyone's getting a bit over everything, aren't they? So just keep going. Five, three, circle back the other way. Really reach long, reach long. Yeah, I was going to say nice spaghetti strap dresses and stuff, but um, I'm not sure anyone's going to be seeing us, guys. So, <laughs> and again. Oh. Keep going. So we'll do some really lovely stretches today, some nice arm work, some upper body stuff. We might not do, we might do more lengthening through the legs as opposed to pulsing. Because my legs are super tight still. Oh, keep going, keep going. I want you, if we can do three minutes of ones where our arms are up, you will really start to feel it. Hold, reach again as long as you can. Just reach, really reach. Imagine that you're just tapping a 10-year-old child on the head or a small adult like me. See, see, you like that one. And again, drop. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really feeling this. And then when we start picking the weights up, we'll really work through it. So we'll keep going into our arms, leave them, come back to them. Yeah, so Rachel and Ali, I don't know if you heard, I'll just say what people want. So stretches and arms seem to be a big thing. Keep doing it. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Really long game. Imagine someone's pulling their middle fingers. Hold it, really hold. Curly cur. Curly cur. I don't know why I say curly cur. Curly C. with it. Oh. Keep going. It's beautiful again, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> this don't feel nice at all. And in, push, push, reach, 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 reach. Reach. I don't know if mine are just burning because I've done quite a lot of arms this week. Oh, yours are still burning as well. Hold, go on, go. Come down. Two, five. And punch, 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 punch. So really think of someone you don't like. I know you're all lovely and there won't be many of them people, but let's go, let's go. And start moving a bit through the hips. I've not lost the plot, honestly. <laughs> this might feel quite nice after holding those arms up really high, shoulder height. And then get them moving. And one, two, three, four. 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 Hold, reach. 
reach, take it, reach, and reach, and reach. Elongate as much as you can, monkey hand, and long, and long. Try and have a little squeeze of the scapula together. Apologies if the, um, the visual's not great, guys. It's the uh, sun's beating in. And eight. And my shoe dip, it's looking a bit of a tip. We're in the middle of decorating. Four, three, two, one, two more sets of eight. Eight, seven. Yeah, my husband started decorating the lounge, but typically starting to get more work again. So uh, it'll probably take a month to finish. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Just give it a circle. We're not going to stretch them out just yet. The shoulders have got to off <laughs> because we're going to start lifting some weights in a bit. But let's take in some nice stretches. So take that front knee. Just really make sure you've got a nice wide stance. So we're going to work through the adductors and just take it up. And back out. So a little bit of a lunge position, but just to get some length and length. And good. Yeah, I was reading about just reading actually after class um, about Greece because we've got flights booked for August, and they seem like they're opening it, but apart from to countries that have got large coronavirus. So yeah, at least the weather's been kind to us guys, hasn't it? Which is one good thing. Three, two, take it into a bit more of a stretch. So lean into it, take that hand to the inner calf and take it up. I know Pam couldn't do yesterday, so we'll start doing some nice stretches. Take a breath in. And again. And again. Last two. Last one. Keep the core engaged. Come up. Take it into parallel. Take the hips backwards, chin to chest, gently down. So nothing crazy today, guys. Just gently let the head hang. We'll think more strength and stretch. Great to low and drag your legs there after hit on Saturday. And keep the core engaged. Draw the navel in. Take your arms to shoulder height and see if you can gently bring yourself up. So the wider your legs and deeper the stretch in the adductors. And again, so we're just going to take it in and up. And back and in. I'm almost too wide. So Rachel and Ali joined us on Sunday on Saturday. It's a good bit excuse if you like a drink on a Friday night, maybe not to drink too much if you're getting up early. And good. So it's quarter past eight now and not eight o'clock. Give you a little bit of leeway. Just set the day up quite nicely, guys. And again, four, three, two, and one. And then just take the gaze up to the ceiling, pushing into that knee. Gently up, just take the gaze the other way. And again, into that lovely deep hamstring um, inner thigh stretch. So take the hips backwards, chin to chest, just gently down. And this time, let's see if we can walk both hands to one foot. Feel that lovely stretch down that side of the leg where the hands are. And the other side. And again, breath in. Switch again. And hold. And back. And again, breath in. One more each side. Back to the other direction. 
and back to centre and core engage, gently roll yourself back up. Good work, let's come in. Okay, let's go back into strength. So bring your weight. So again, um, I used, I think, yeah, I used these ones earlier this morning, so I'm going to use slightly bigger ones. So anything from kind of, if you don't like doing heavy weights or the neck bothers you a little bit, you can always do the arm actions without the weights and just, again, really resist. So I'm going quite two and a half kilos with the bicep, and I'll probably switch when we do abduction. So if you don't want to do, and actually I'm probably not today because my legs are tight. I've just gotten back to kind of some normality after my runs. So I'm just going to do your arm action. You know what the drill is. If you want to do the lunge at the same time, you can. But Rick, uh, Laura, if you want to do more stretch, just think about pushing that back heel down and coming forward and just taking it into the bicep. Yeah? Or do your lunge work, guys. I did a lot this morning, so I'm not going to bother. So again, resist. Really reach. Resist. All the way down. And then to get a little bit, four more, to get a little bit of a stretch through the back quadricep muscles, the thigh muscles, we're going to come down into that lunge position, take the back leg long, and just let it drop a little bit. So you're getting a stretch for that thigh, and then bring it into there, turn, up, back, turn, down, and again. And again. Three. Four, it's almost too warm to be running. I'm kind of jumping about today. Four, three, two, one. Let's do four more. And for four, and for three, and for two, and for one. Well done. Switch side. So again, if you want more of a stretch, just take the back heel to the floor, weight slightly forwards and just do your abs. Or you can do, obviously, your lunge. And again, and three, and four, and four, and three. So we've got two lots of eight single ones. And again, let's go at eight, and seven. Enjoy the sunshine, Janet. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. To kick back, back knee slightly down, weight forwards in and up. Every week I think, oh, what have I done this week? And then it gets a nice sunny day, and I think, hmm, maybe just one cold glass of tea. And again, do four more. Four and three and two and one. Well done, good work. Just give yourself a little bit of a pelvic circle and the other direction. Good. So we've got a little bit of a one where we do. Um, I might switch. Um, I take the easier option and twist and switch my weights. So now I've just got one point five kilo. So, we're going to do, see if we can, a little bit of coordination, and we're going to take one into a front raise and one into a lateral raise, yeah? So we're going to do eight on one side. If you want to come up onto the balls of the feet, you can do. I probably will for this one. Helps me concentrate for some reason. So we go like that, and back, and for seven. Again, really think about reaching. Make sure your elbow is slightly lower than the shoulder, and again. And again, last one, switch sides, so one goes up, and down, and for seven, and for six, and for five, and for four. So weight's obviously really good for that strength, um, and the older you get, you really do need to increase kind of a little bit of weight. And then again, alternate. Burning and six. Hope you're feeling alright. And seven. Probably rate 
shoulders and now you've got a big leg and eight I'm just going to keep my legs down for the last day and just swing my arms eight seven six five you can see that left one's dropping already I'm struggling a bit three Them. One. Good work. Put them down for a sec. Let's just come back into that deep external rotation and plie. So just to get a little bit of endurance. Let your arms out. Reach, reach, circle. One of my clients I've not seen for a long time, Jen, I live in Gaza. She's got like the best arms ever. And she's like in her late, mid to late 50s. So it isn't even, it's not even like the case it's age. You know, she's 25. But her diet is like so strict. Get her in her. Get her balance. So yeah. Her big treat is like five almonds a day. I don't know about anyone else, but when I get a bag of nuts, I struggle. Not eating a whole lot. Anyway, circle back. If it's too much on the endurance, come up. Good. And then this one, I want you just to, again, if you want to lift your weight, you can. And I just want you to go in and then out. Yeah? So both arms in and out. In. So you squeeze the scapula together and to the back. Keep the core engaged. And again. And again. So you're getting that nice stretch through the pectoral wall. Working really hard through. So you'll see as you come back how you squeeze. And then back to working the trapezius muscle. Yeah. Particularly the upper and mid traps. And four. What's that? Three. Oh gosh, something to do with Boris Johnson. I don't really want to know about him today. And last one. Well done. Circle back. Circle back. Let's take it into our tricep. I'm going to switch again. Slightly bigger weight. So again, if you just take it into your stretch position, and I want you to literally take your arm up as high as you can, keep the shoulder blade down, and the shoulder away from it, bring it up. Then just lift, lift. I want you just to see are you stronger through your right arm or your left. So you're just going to do one at a time. Bring it in. Eight. Seven. Well done. Nearly there. Nice stretches through it in a set. 
let's just take it into the rotator cuff, tight through the tummy, take it in and out, in, out, keep your ribs together, three, four, four, three, two, one, then take it down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we've got that combination, so we go in, out, down, seven, six, five, four, last ones I promise, three, two, one, hold it, bring it up, take it out, reach, elongate through that neck, reach, promise I'm going to do some stretches now Laura, I promise, and relax. Well done. Good work. Oh, ask for our arms. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, so just gently take it into deltoid stretch. Pull it across. We'll do a nice stretch on the floor actually as well. Everyone's doing that out in the garden. I thought about it, but I sat out yesterday for about, I don't know, only at about half past three. It was so warm. It's not the same when you play out there with this swimming pool, is it? And bring the other side up. Oh, feel that stretch. Ali, I'm doing it. My mobile data didn't, my phone went weird this morning. I, I did it on Wi-Fi on Motorola and it was great. But I'm doing this on mobile data. He let me up it for nothing. It's been really nice. Um, just take them clap the hands. So I'm recording the, the spot on YouTube on the other one. But I often think I'm looking at this camera and not at the other one. I must look a bit like that. <laughs> I think I've got my eyes. Uh, going in one direction and the other thing in the other. And circle. Oh, circle. Just to get some. So these are for you, Laura, and for me. Just to just without any weight, just get it into that more common wise movement. Fifi, have you got any idea of more common wise even if? Even ask, I bet. The old comedian from many, many years ago. And so again, this is just a real idea. This is my breast cancer lady, so you lose a lot of mobility after surgery. But it really is such a nice move. A lot of, not a lot, but a few of my clients have got neck issues and they said this is really helping them to get that mobility back. Two and one. Well done. And then just circle. And circle back for two. So if you're doing weights, yeah, brilliant. Weights will obviously turn and strengthen. But just make sure that you're getting lots of mobility and stretches in afterwards as well and through the neck. So just give nice little chin sort of parallel. Shoulders back and down and just rotate. And back again. And the other way. We're the best wool in the world. If you start lifting and heavy, getting heavier weight, the neck sometimes clicks in a bit. And it's horrible. And again. Good. And then just side to side. Nice mobility, chin down, and then just gently up. And on the next one, take your chin down, check, take your hips, take your hips restless and just gently roll down, check the weight in the front of the feet. Feeling that lovely stretch through the back of the legs, mobilising through the spine. Let's take a breath in through the nose at the bottom. Draw the navel in and gently back up. So as 
finished the 100k month run challenge, guys, on Monday, I think it was. And um, I left myself with 12k to run on Monday. Um, so, yeah, my knee was bothering me a bit on Saturday after my hip. Because <laughs> I'm old, I'm back up again. I was like an older woman on Tuesday. So I couldn't touch the floor, my legs are that tight. So it just shows you, if you do do your stretches, you will get that lengthening back again just needs to be a bit patient and down it feels so much better today and gently up so again really stretching through let's do one more big hip out and then we're just going because i know a few of you do really like your yoga so um then gently back up so i don't want to do like um you know, pretend to be Pam, because I'm not, um, I'm not Pilates based, but I do like some yoga moves, so for the stretching part of the session as well, I think this is really good, so we're going to go into rolling down into our plank position, we're just going to hold plank for about 15 seconds on each one, come up into downward dog, pressing through the heels, and then we're going to go into that lunge where we take the leg forward into between the hands to get into um, a quadricep stretch. So chin to chest, take the hips backwards, gently down to the floor. Hopefully the hamstrings are feeling a bit better because they've just rolled down. Bring it out. Take it into your plank. If you really want to work through your arms, you can have a little um, tricep push-up. Yeah, just hold. Take the hips nice and high. Walk the hands back a little bit. Walk the right heel down and the left. And the right, and the left, right, left. This time we're going to take both heels down. We're keeping the core engaged. We're actually walking the hands back to the feet. Feel that stretch. Hold it. Then gently restart back up. Good. The next one we're going to try and bring that leg through. So just listen to it kind of when we're down there. So chin to chest, take the hips backwards. The weight comes forward. Let the sit bones in the bottom reach up to the ceiling. Walk the hands back. Hold, the, just hold it. And we're going to, I always like to just come slightly up. Um, no, I don't. Sorry, I was thinking of the word. <laughs> what do I do? I forgot what I do in this position. That's what I do. I always like to take one hand away to bring that other foot forward. I appreciate that is not always easy if you're tight. So if you need to bring your knees down and just come into this position and then from this position you can just push that back knee down a little bit you can reach look so you're getting a lot of strength you'll probably see my back leg shaking but you're also showing an angle getting a nice stretch for if it's too much take that knee to the floor just hold back up if you can. Let the hands down, both hands come to the inside of the foot, walk it back round, stay into your plank again, draw the tummy in. So if it's too much to bring that leg straight through, like that, like I did on the other side, I'll show you the more modification one. You just come down and then bring it in like that and then take it into a high lunge. Hold, so you see, I love yoga, but I do think if you're not used to it, kind of going from downward dog into chaturanga into, you know, leg in can be quite tough for people. So it's always a modification. And then take both hands down, bring it in. So we're just going to, from this position, just come down into your forearm plank. Just draw the navel in, slide the scapula down. Let's just see if we can hold. Keep drawing that core in. We're only going to do about 30 seconds. Nothing too major. Instead of coming down into our child's pose, see if you can draw the tummy in, see if you can come back up into your plank. And straight into your downward dog, walk the hands back. Keep the hips nice and high. Walk the right heel down and the left. And we're going to take it a little bit into that hip sort of opening. So, we're 
we're just going to literally take our left leg nice and high yeah and then see if you can just open up a bit you can kind of just turn a little bit as well as you aim to get that heel towards the opposite foot cheek I'm not quite sure where the camera is and then back again take it down so the right leg comes up nice and high can you turn a little bit externally rotate that right hip and bring it Opening up everything, back down, walk the hands back a little bit, take both heels down, oh, feel that lovely stretch, lengthening out, really important that we lengthen out our muscles, and then gently back, and slowly restack back up, well done, okay, let's come down onto the floor, and let's do a little bit, um, I think I first started came into a bike, yeah, I think, I can't remember if it was to do a combo of Pilates and bow or, but anyway, this is definitely a Pilates move and it's really good for the inner thighs. I know a lot of people have a lot of tightness in the groin area. So just to start with, all we're going to do is put our feet quite wide, just to open up the hips a little bit. And then we're going to take it into an exercise called SAW, S-A-W, not S-O-A-R. And, um, yeah, I'll show you. I think we've probably done it before, but it's not easy. Um, it is an advanced move, and that's not because it's all cardiovascular and sweaty. It's because it requires a lot of flexibility. I'm not sure how I'll fare at the minute with my legs being tight. But we sit in this position. So I'll take it just, I'm going to take it nice and easy at first. I'm just going to take our, we'll take our arms into Cossack arms, slide the scapula down, draw the tummy in, and we're just going to take it into a spinal twist. Back to centre, either way. And then I'm going to take it into a roll down towards the foot. And then a roll back up, back the other way, a roll down, and back up. Good, now... So this is kind of just getting you prepped for the full exercise. Then take your arms out wide, draw the navel in. And sometimes the hardest part is sitting upright. A lot of people want to flop. So use your postural muscles. Take it round. Back to centre. The other way. And again, we'll do that again. Nice healthy spine, which is what Pilates is all about. The other way. Good. Now we're going to roll. Roll. You don't have to flex fully down. You can just reach. Yeah. And then back up. The other side. And reach. Don't worry if you can't touch. And then we're going to combine the two. So the full exercise is spinal twist, spinal roll down. So we're just going to draw. And ideally, the full exercise is you get your hand to the outside of the ankle. That can be quite tough. Sorry, I've got a little itch. So you can. I'll show you full one. Let's just draw the navel in. Take it round, and then you start flexing forward, aiming to get the hand to the outside of the ankle bone. Reach that back up, back to centre. The other way, and down. If that feels like it's pulling a bit much on your back, then instead of trying to take it to the outside, you can just roll forward a little bit. So you just take it round and just roll more towards the big toe. Yeah? Out. Up. If you are flexible, I'm surprised that I'm trying to get my hand down here. Just my legs were out. I couldn't have done this on Tuesday. So keep the core engaged. Round. Forward. Lots of nice stretches. And again, just feel five inch tall on your tummy. Down. I did my training. I might have told you this before. With a lovely boy called Danilo from Sicily and he was a dancer, a ballet dancer and I used to love watching him do this one. Imagine you are a submarine joining all around and you go submerged and then round and obviously it was super flexible and again I think he used to get his head to his knee no problem and last one and relax well done good work now just to get into just in case that like really stretched them out and you want something a bit more gentle, just come over, take the palm, the palms, soles even, the soles of your feet together, 
and just rest. Just rest and just practice that little bit of belly breath. You just place your hands on your tummy. Inhale, let the belly fill the hands up. Exhale, release. And again. Well done, let's come in. So let's not undo all the hard work by getting ourselves all tight again. So we are going to do some abdominal work and we are going to do some um, sort of strengthening, but we want to do it so we are not um, oh, looking at the other camera there and <laughs> doing a job on there. So we're just going to take it, and I want you to use your arms as well just to get that mobility going again. So we're just going to take it into single leg stretch. So just take the right leg up to tabletop, and the left leg, draw the navel in, take your arms up, so try not to bring your legs too far in because that's where they'll cramp a bit, yeah, so have them a little bit like that but make sure you're not tipping forward, look into chest, keep your, arm, uh, keep your head down guys, just because we've done a lot of weight so I don't want to seize the neck up again, so take the right leg forward, the right hand follows, the left hand comes back. The lower you go with the leg, the harder the abdominals have to work to keep a pubic bone level. So just working through your arms as well. So getting that flexion of the shoulder, making sure the ribs are not coming with us. Keep drawing the tummy in. anyone can see that big, um, I don't know if it's on the screen actually, that big picture of Tim on the other bit in the background. I think he's about 18 months. He's 12 on Saturday. Again, and again. Eight, seven, keep drawing in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring the knees into the chest, we're not going crazy today with the abdominals, there is an abdominal one on YouTube if you want to go crazy, and then just take the soles again, let them lie, just lie down, pray for world peace, and just gently shake your head side to side, if you're lucky enough to have a little soft ball at home, Laura, if you've not got one of these, which I think you might have actually, but get one. Because they're super lovely on the neck. You can take it obviously into that double chin one as well. Flexing and extending. And again, side to side. Just try and push it. So we're keeping with the abdominals, but we are keeping very much with the stretch session as well, guys. So let's just take our arms backwards and just, just lie there just for a second. What does your body want to do? So where is your back situated? So often when we take our arms overhead, I let my ribs come up and out. That's what they want to do. That's fine because I'm just relaxing. But obviously that increases that gap. So my bra strap is away from the mat now. So I don't want to be yanking myself up in this position. So I'm just going to take a little chin nod. I'm going to take a big breath in through the nose. And then as I exhale, I start bringing my arms forward of the chest, lifting my head and shoulders. So now I'm coming off of the shoulder blades. And at the same time, I'm taking my ribs down and I'm gently... <laughs> taking hollow in through on an exhale and hoping to get up and forward and restart. Sometimes if you're struggling with roll-up, if you do some bridges, it just limbers up a little bit through the spine. But we've done a few stretches, so we should be all right. And again, exhale. If you 
have got that ball, if you haven't got one and you know you like roll-up and you do feel a bit chuddery, just order one. It'll come in a couple of days and it gives you that nice, you get that more extension of the back. Press in, little chin rod. Obviously, you've got a lot more to think about, so you have to really connect through the ribs. Gently down, take it all the way forward, release that back up. And again, let's go for another eight. Take it back, always inhale. Exhale as we come up, connecting to core, ribs start coming closer to the hips, reset back, C curve. Again, sometimes the ball just allows you that little bit of mobility. And then after you've done two or three, like my first one felt a little bit tight. I've had the ball there, my spine's just gone into more movement and it just feels a lot more um, just as though, you know, you're more in sort of oily, if that makes sense. And again, exhale, forward. And do you see, can we get a little bit closer? So did the hamstrings feel a bit tight? And now they feel a little bit better and you can reach forward, back. I always like to think about a giant beach ball as I come up, so I'm reaching down, reach that back up. Let's do two more. I'm shocking the counter out. Two. Sometimes it's nice to go hell for leather, isn't it, in classes where you're just, you know, working super hard. And other times, I just think you need to listen to your body. So just come back now, down onto the floor, and we'll just do four mobility brushes. So if you're a little bit gung ho and you like kind of bar and hit, like I know you do, Rachel, and you know, weights and stuff, and I do, but sometimes, you know, when your body just can literally, oof, so I'm just chomping, you know, when you've done so many leg, leg pulses and you just start feeling really tight, I think the most important thing is to get that length back. So just take your arms out, do capital T, or just below capital T. And doing things slowly, you can really connect. So just think about the core again. So draw the navel in towards the spine. Bring the right leg up to table top, 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 and the left. And again, supine spine twist. We're going to take the knees in one direction. And exhale back to centre. Inhale over. And draw the navel in, exhale, centre. So a little bit of core work, but mainly thinking about that lovely movement for the back and back to centre. If this feels too much, just take the feet on the floor. If you want to progress this one, inhale, take the knees over. Exhale, long. Inhale, bend. Exhale, centre. The other side, inhale over, exhale long, inhale bend, exhale centre. Let's do two more. Tap in and again. And honestly guys, you can have a word with Ali, I know you're not doing a class on a Friday. Do you want me to do like a half hour, I don't know, hit or then I'm happy to do it. Not a problem. I've been trying to do some sessions on YouTube that are just like 20 minutes, something like that, if you're strapped for time. So I put one on the other day, actually, Rachel, that I think, woo! Do you see that bright sunshine? It's been like the heavens are calling me. And back. Yeah, Rachel, just a mat. And then back in. Take the feet down to the floor. Bring the right knee into chest. Sorry if I've just gone off screen with the sun. Yeah, um, I just did a, I got back from a walk, I think yesterday, yeah, I took the dog out early, it was beautiful. And I got back and felt a bit energised because the sun was out. So I just did 17 minutes of really hard hit session. Um, but I was sweating like mad. I think sometimes if you're doing hit, you can work 15, 20 minutes hard and that is it. So if you are, you just think one day oh, I'm feeling a bit lazy, but I want to get something done, get it done quick. It should have gone on yesterday, I think. Well done. Take that left leg nice and long. Take the right.
right leg into tabletop, take the um, left hand to the outside of that right lower outer thigh and bring it over and just practice your belly breath here. Inhale, let the belly rise. Exhale, release. And again. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If you are more that you have missed some of the pulses and some of the lunges, then I've just, I don't know if you know this, but I copied you that zoom. Just bring it back in again. I copied you into, where did you go? Yeah, I think I did. I'll check anyway. If not, I'll send you it. The class I did this morning is very much like the one we normally do, lots of leg pulses, just in case you're missing it. And again, take a breath in, let the belly rise. And out. And again. And last but not least, I keep forgetting that. Because this one we're going to sort of have about an hour, so I know how busy you all are, guys. Let's just take it down by our side, our arms down by our side. We've just got two nice little um, exercises. So just take a breath in through the nose and just gently roll the lower back into the mat and just come up into your bridge, taking your arms with you. And float back down. Again, back. And down. No balance today, Janet. And again. More balance now. And and last but not least, take your arms up into full scissor and then see if you can end your arm there and back. Switch direction. So then to scissor and then I always think of I suppose end your arms is the exercise. Or just thinking about each arm kind of doing like a semicircle back round and then back up. My son's doing pie, pie squares at the minute. Yeah. And I don't know what made me think about that. And then just gently, actually gently over onto your front into a nice rolling cat. So stick your hips in one direction, round that back. Stick your hips in the other and dip. And round. Maybe Laura, Friday. It doesn't have to be a lunchtime. I do a nine o'clock, nine thirty class. It could be an early class. Maybe that's what we need at the end of the, the week. A little bit of a stretch session. And then just any which way you fancy. Just go round. And then into full cacti cow, breath in. Breathe it out. And, and back, put your toes under. Remember if your shoulders are feeling a little bit tight still, gently back and just do a few more stretches through your arms. Yeah, so just some nice circles and nice delts and yeah, fabulous. Let me just unmute you guys. All right. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. So warm. Hey? It's so warm. It is warm, isn't it? It's beautiful. Hey, Rachel, you're right. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I can't believe how. Like at the start of lockdown, all the hedges and things were all brown and horrible, and now it's like I'm in a jungle outside. Look at all the lovely trees. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it, when it's like that? Is everyone all right then, surviving? Yeah. 
Anna, it's it's. I'm at, I'm at the beach. I know you're at the beach. It looks beautiful. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> at least it's sunny. It could be a lot worse, couldn't it? it could be pouring yeah. down, then we really would be miserable. So you joining me on Saturday, Rachel? Um, I really enjoyed it. I love it. Oh, good. It's nice, yeah, isn't it? It's nice when you just get it over and done with as well, isn't it? Do you know, first thing, and then like your day can kind of just move on. Yeah. Were your legs out? Were your legs feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, darling. Well, lots of love, everyone. Take care. Bye. No worries. Take care. Bye.